In today's video, we're taking a look at how to clean your grill grates easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot. Thank you. So you woke up today and you got grilling in your mind, but you open your grill and you notice the food, the grease, the crust seem like they've been guests at your Airbnb grill for a while. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we've got your back. And this technique can be used for charcoal grills and gas grills. And the best way to attack always is maintenance, no matter if you're the beginning of the process or at the end or haven't even started so in this video we're going to show the two different levels the hard stuck on one and the every time you use it method and for the stuck on one we want to combine both methods so we're going to start with the first one maintenance so no matter if you're starting to grill or you're ending your grill the first thing that you want is to get your grill hot so if you're starting to grill we want to start the normal process of turning it on if you're ending the cookout we're basically want to take advantage of that same residual heat to clean it. And we do this because any stuck on food, grime, grease will be easier to remove once hot. Because like everything in life, with a little bit of heat, everybody starts running. If you wanna check out our video on how to do a charcoal grill basket for under $15, we'll leave a link on the description. So once we have our charcoal on or our gas burners, we're gonna let the grill sit for about two to three minutes. If you're using a gas grill, Placing the burners on high is the way to go. If using charcoal, the same amount that you're gonna need for the cooking is what you're gonna use. If you're not cooking today, we salute you. But just with a handful of charcoal is enough. We just want to get the grill hot to be able to clean it. Later on, we're going to want for it to cool down if we're doing the second step, the hard cleaning. Once the grill is hot, we're gonna take our favorite grill cleaning brush and for hard stuck on food, we like to use the metal ones. We're basically gonna scrape every nook and cranny of the grates and using some tongs we want to make sure that we flip the grates and get both sides. And remember this technique can be used for all the grates on your grill as well as any parts on your gas grill. You just want to make sure that you use caution when doing this. The last thing you want on a clear sunny day is to die especially without eating. And you're gonna notice on your grill brush you have a scraper on the corners you have an individual grate scraper as well as the brush. Once we got every nook and cranny comes the most important part and that is seasoning the grates. We want to use some paper towels and a high smoke point preferably neutral oil. You can use canola oil, peanut oil, in this case we're going to use vegetable oil. So we're basically going to dip the paper on the oil and using some tongs we're going to pass it all over the grates. Not only this is going to season the grates to make it non-stick for when you place your food but it's also gonna help clean the grates and catch and remove any metal bristles left behind from the cleaning but the most important thing that it's going to do is going to prevent future rust the more you season your grill the better chances of not getting rust in the future we want to make sure that we get every nook and cranny also flip the grates and get the other side if you want to check out our video on how to season a grill we'll leave a link on the description now we're going to close our grill again and we're going to leave it there for five minutes. This is going to create a coat of non-stick seasoned goodness for your grates. And this maintenance, this is something that we want to do before cooking and after cooking. Not only your grill is going to be clean and ready for your next cookout, but it's going to prevent any hard stuck on food that will be harder to remove in the future. Plus the seasoning, it's going to help avoid any rusting. But let's say you already done this step, but you notice you you haven't gotten everything or you see a little bit of rust don't worry here at the static box scene we've got your back now come the big guns and to make sure that we live another day we want to make sure that everything has cooled down you either want to wait until your charcoals burn out or turn off the gas burners once it's cool we want to go ahead and remove any part that we want to clean and remember because we did the first one two punch it's going to be a lot cleaner so what we're going to do now is use old-fashioned elbow 
elbow grease. We're gonna use a little bit of soap and water and the old trusted green sponge. You can also use metal sponges that would get the job done even faster. So just a few drops of liquid dish detergent and water like a water hose and we basically start scrubbing our problems away. Always remember to use both arms for even pump because the last thing you want is one arm bigger than the other. Once we notice that all the food, grime and grease has been removed, we want to spray it down with some water. Remove all the soap. If you want to clean the grease catchers, using the softer side of the sponge is the way to go. We don't want to remove the protective coating that it has. And now comes the most important part of the whole video. We want to make sure that we dry as best as we can the grates and parts of the grill. Because remember, the enemy of metal is water. Because from that, you get rust. But don't worry, that's not going to happen here. Because now, we're going to turn on our grill. If you're using a gas grill, we're going to turn on the burners. If you're using charcoal, we're going to turn on some charcoal and heat everything up. So we go ahead and place everything back as hopefully we found it. If you have some screws left over, just put them in the DIY bin where you put all the other screws from the other jobs that for some reason you have left over. If you want to check out our video on how to set up a gas grill, we'll leave a link on the description. So we're going to let that sit for about five to 10 minutes or until completely dry. And now that we gave it the one, two punch, we're ready for the maintenance round, which is seasoning the grapes. So we're basically going to take some paper towels, your favorite high smoke point oil, preferably neutral, and give those grates the best massage of their life. Remember to do both sides. And once we do that, we're going to leave them in the heat for the same amount, five to 10 minutes. Now you've done it, Grasshopper. You become a cleaning great machine of the grilling world. Now you and the grill are ready to cook the best food you ever done. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone on the Static Box team or someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.